you all hear me? I'm doing a mic check. All right, there it is. Um, good morning. Y'all look so pretty and so handsome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so, hello, everyone. My name is Miss Angela Dodd. I'm the clinical placement manager here at the College of Nursing. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the White Coat Ceremony for Spring 2024. Don't our lovely students looking good? They look good. We are here to celebrate a significant milestone in the journey of our future healthcare professionals. Um, I just want, because I know they got to walk in before we got started. So can we just give a moment to spotlight them? So can I have BSN Cohort 5? Just please stand. <laughs> Woo! Yes, you all can be seated. Y'all look good. Can I have ELM Cohort 28 please stand? You all look good. You all can be seated. Can I have FMP Cohort 38 please stand? Y'all look good. And then the Psych Mental Health NP Cohort 18, can you all please stand? You all look great. All right, let's get this party started. So to begin, um, can you all please rise once more, everyone, as we have an opening prayer by our very own General Counsel and Secretary Board of Trustees, Mr. John Patton. Good morning, everybody. Don't blame me. I would not have asked you to stand, but uh, I think God probably is okay with it, <laughs> if you'll bow your heads. God, we are excited about what you're doing. We're excited about your care for people. We're excited about how you are in the healing business yourself. And so now we're uh, beginning to move through the process of these healers who will heal bodies and also minds. And we ask you to do what you always do, but please do it um, today and in the future for these young people and uh, people who, are, who will embark on these careers. The world is sick and it needs healing. It needs somebody who's bringing unity, somebody who's making bridges instead of walls. So we ask you to help these healers to heal. Give them the power to heal. Give them the wherewithal to heal. Move through them so that our communities can return to a state of wellness. We know you're going to do it, and we'll tell everybody you did it all by yourself. This is our prayer. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Patton. Um, just before we um, continue with our programs, I forgot to state some housekeeping rules. If you all can please put your phones on vibrate or silent, I know you all probably have some wonderful ringtones, but we want to make sure that it's not a distraction. Also, if you find yourself frowning, please put a smile on your face because we do have a photographer that will be taking pictures. <laughs> so please make sure you have a, a smile on your face. But at this time, uh, we're going to move along with our program um, we will now receive welcoming remarks from our very own um, Dr. Gail Washington. She is the dean of our lovely college, the Mervyn M. Dimley College of Nursing. At this time, can we receive Ms. Gail Washington? Thank you so much. Good morning. It is my great honor and privilege to extend a warm welcome to our students, family, friends, and guests. We assemble today to celebrate a momentous occasion, the Mervyn M. Dimley College of Nursing White Coat Ceremony. As our students don their white coats, they embrace a tradition that signifies their commitment to the noble profession of nursing. The white coat ceremony symbolizes the transition from theory to clinical practice. As an integral part of our students' lives, 
the unwavering support of family, friends, and significant others have been supportive and instrumental in facilitating our students' success. Thank you for being here today and celebrating with us. Enjoy the ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Washington, for those wonderful words. Um, so at this time, we're gonna move into our remarks opportunity, and I have the distinct pleasure to welcome um, two special people at this university to extend remarks to you, one being um, the president and CEO of this institution. Now, before I say his name, let's play a little Jeopardy. Does anyone wanna guess our president's name? Oh, <laughs> no, you go for it. <laughs> no, it's okay. It was a joke. Um, so, <laughs> um, so at this time, I do want to welcome Dr. David M. Carlisle, the president and CEO of Charles Audrey University in Medicine and Science, who will now share some thoughts with us. President Carlisle. Well, good morning, everyone. And yes, uh, in case you didn't get it, uh, David M. Carlisle, just, just, just for the record. Um, you know, this is a really wonderful occasion. The weather is great. Um, the, the attendance is great. Seeing all of our, our students is great. Uh, and I just want to say that there's one person who used to be with us who, if he were to look at this ceremony today, would be extremely proud of what he's saying. And that's none other than Dr. Mervyn M. Dimely, after whom our College of Nursing is named. Um, in fact, Dr. Dimely was the head of the Assembly Health Committee many years ago, and a delegation from this university went up to Sacramento, and they were seeking millions of dollars for our College of Medicine. And Dr. Dimely, who knew what he was talking about, basically asked the question, don't we have a major nursing shortage? And of course, the CD representatives said, absolutely. And Dr. Dimley said, well, why don't we start a school of nursing at Charles R. Jew University of Medicine and Science? That's why we have the College of Nursing today, and that's why the College of Nursing is named after him. At the time of his passing, he was here as a member of our faculty in the College of Nursing. So I want to make sure all of our students understand uh, who our college is named after, a very great person in the history of this country, this state, and this county. I also want to say, you all are making a great decision. I know we have a line down the middle. You all are nurses already, and you all are becoming nurses. <clears throat> um, to our, our friends and family, these people are making one of the best decisions of their lives. Um, the nursing profession is, pro is certainly one of the very best health professions to go into. I could narrow it down further, but we have some other professions at this school, and I'll, I'll just be careful about what I say. Um, but, you know, nurses are the perfect blend of technology and humanitarianism. All those buzzes, buzzers and lights and things, those machines that are running in hospitals, like the one across the street, Nurses know how to run all that stuff. Uh, they may not know the technical ins and outs of it, but they certainly know when a machine is malfunctioning and what to do when it's malfunctioning. But then there's a the humanitarian side of things as well. Um, I'm a physician. Who is the last person to be with a patient in their last moments? Typically, it's a nurse. The doctor has written an, an order. Call me when it's all over. I'll, I'll come by in the morning but it's the nurse that stands there at two o'clock in the morning, sits there at the bedside, holding that patient's hand. Um, that's what nursing is, a blend of humanitarianism and technology. And that's why it's certainly uh, one of the best health professions to go into. We need nurses all around the country, all around the world. And as nurses, you can go anywhere to practice your profession. So I salute those of you who are choosing to go into nursing because you're making a great decision I also salute those who are already nurses who are becoming nurse practitioners. 
And I want to say, for those of you who don't know, um, these individuals who are registered nurses now, who are becoming nurse practitioners, most of them I know were on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, probably working double shifts, maybe working triple shifts, sometimes never going home to take care of patients with COVID-19. So this is an example of the, um, the character of the nursing profession, and it's a wonderful profession. And I'll just say to all of our friends, family members, loved ones, um, thank you for your support of our students, because without you, they wouldn't be here at all. In fact, uh, students, why don't you join me in giving our audience a round of applause? So again, this is a very joyous, auspicious, and proud occasion. Um, I'm welcoming all of you to the health professions. I'm looking forward maybe to working with you and some, some of you in the future. And congratulations on re receiving your white coats today. We're very proud of you. Thank you, President Carlisle. We also, I get a high here ring. We also have the privilege to have Ms. Sylvia Drew Ivey, Special Assistant to the President, joining us today. Ms. Sylvia Drew Ivey is the daughter of our university's namesake, Charles R. Drew. She will now address the audience promptly. Can we welcome Ms. Sylvia to the stage? Good morning, everyone. I want to just take a minute to say how indebted I am to this university and its leaders for my career in healthcare. Um, I used to be uh, a civil rights lawyer, and then suddenly somebody said, Come help us with THE Clinic. And THE Clinic was run by a nurse practitioner uh, who was a nurse and then went to get her degree, a uh, further degree as a nurse practitioner. And Marilyn was a force of nature, and she said, We're going to provide care in South LA for people in South LA who don't have any care. And it became one of the best community-focused community clinics uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, and I was there for many years, and we were a very happy family. And um, Marilyn was um, connected to CDU. And so CDU is part of the founding of that community care, and I'm grateful for that. Um, Dr. William Merritt was a physician here. And you know, a nurse practitioner couldn't just go out and do the work. She had to have the uh, imprimatur, or whatever the right word is, of a physician. Um, and so Bill Merritt, who was here, uh, did that. You know, gave Marilyn the credentials that, that were required for us to take care of low income, mostly black patients. Uh, now the clinic is uh, probably 50-50, black and Latinx. Um, and still taking care of people that nobody else really cares to take care of. So it's a calling, it's a wonderful opportunity, and I really loved it. The patients were just perfect. Um, you are entering or have entered a very noble profession, and we're grateful for the physicians who bring other wonderful qualities to the endeavor, but it's the nurse practitioners who are bringing the heart and the warmth and the family connection that makes it all go. So I, I think nurses are pretty wonderful, and I'm so glad that we're training you here at CDU. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ivy. Um, before we um, proceed with our program, I do want to acknowledge a very special guest we have here sitting on the stage. Um, our very own Miss Angela Minifield, who is the Senior Vice President and COO of our university. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, Miss Ivy says she keeps us standing. <laughs> All right, so I also have the distinct pleasure of doing the occasion for this ceremony. Um, how many of you all have been to a white coat ceremony before? Before this one? Any hands? 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 How many of you, is this your first time? First timers? Wow, that's a lot of hands. Okay, so the white coat ceremony was originally established by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation in 1993. It is a significant milestone that was usually meant for medical students. 
During this event, each student is draped with a white coat, often accompanied by the recitation or to recite of an oath, symbolizing their initiation into the medical profession. Initially designed for first year students, the white coat ceremony has a twofold purpose. It welcomes students into the healthcare practice and it underscores the paramount importance of human, humanitarian and as well as the core of healthcare. This ceremony places a profound emphasis on the fusion of compassion with scientific excellence. The pivotal component of this ceremony is the oath taken by students conducted in front of your family members, your friends, school authorities, and your peers. This solemn pledge is something that acknowledges your primary responsibility of caring for a patient. And more so with here at CDU, what I like about this white coat ceremony, similar to what Dr. Carlisle stated is, for our pre-nursing students, if you look over to your left, you will see, I'm sorry, to your right, wrong way, to your right hand side, you will see students who have entered into the nursing program before, who have accomplished being gay, RN, and have been in the field. And then for my post licensure students for FNP and Psych P, if you look over to your left hand side, you will see from where you have come and look to where you're going. So I think this is a wonderful occasion. I think it's just the starting point for our pre-licensure students to also look at our post-licensure students to say, this is much more than just being an RN. I can be an NP. I can be a Psych Mental Health NP. And even if I want to, I can get my doctorate in nursing practice, okay? Um, so before we get into the coding part, I just want to make sure I'm going to test the room. Is everyone still with us? I know people will probably are swiping on Instagram. You probably got TikTok going right now. Um, for some people, maybe Facebook, and for others, you may be on LinkedIn. Um, but can you look to your neighbor? I'm a church baby. Can you look to your neighbor real quick and say, neighbor? You look good today. Okay, maybe that's the wrong neighbor. Look to the other neighbor on the other side of you, rather behind or next to you, and say, neighbor, you look good today. All right, everybody feeling good? <laughs> all right, all right. So now at this time, what you've all been waiting for, we will begin the presentation of Colts. Um, I'm going to announce every program director or assistant dean um, to come up to the stage um, who will be actually reading the names of the students. And um, students, you all will have to line up on this side. Um, starting, we're going to start with the BSN program so you all can get ready. Um, and if you have a family member who is going to be coding you, we ask that that family member stand beside you so that they can walk up to the stage with you. And if you have a faculty or staff member assigned to code you, please make sure you get their attention, okay? Everybody ready? You got your cameras ready? Everybody good? Your phone's not on 10%? All right. We're good. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's get this show on the road. Starting first, I do want to um, welcome up to the stage Dr. Sharon Cobb, who's the Assistant Dean and Director of the Pre-Licensure Nursing Programs, who will introduce our BSN and our ELM program. Thank you so much, Ms. Dodd, and good morning. Good morning, everyone. All right, come on, we just said how we're about to take pictures, we're about to smile, right? Good morning, good morning, and again, I just um, want to thank the esteemed leadership that we have here as we really partake in this joyous occasion to celebrate. Um, just like we said, we're here to honor both our pre-licensure, our post-licensure, as an alum, and I see some of our pre-licensure alum on the post-licensure side this morning, um, it's just so beautiful, and that is here where we're um, just so happy to celebrate. So at this time, I am going to first call on our Bachelor of Science in Nursing students, Cohort 5, to please present to the stage. And just like Ms. Dodd stated, we would like for those who are family members, friends, the support system, to join them in placing on their coat. So in what we will do, we'll be lining up 
coming from this way and you will have a photographer to take your lovely photo. So we're asking for those other support family members in the back or support system to likely give our due diligence to our photographer and then stand behind to take pictures, okay? So at this time, we are going to start with our BSN Cohort 5. And don't they look so lovely? Let's give them a round of applause as they come up. All right, and then again, we're gonna ask our support system um, to line up with them. And then if not, we'll ask our faculty members. I definitely see um, Dr. Burns, our assistant director for pre-licensure nursing programs, might have to be able to provide coding as well. I'm trying to see how we're going to do this to bypass. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. So we will start with our first student. Our first BSN student is Jalen Barrios, and, and her coat is being placed on by her girlfriend, her mom, and, my and her stepdad. Thank you. <laughs> and so... And so specifically, while her quote is being placed on, her quote is, I want to thank my girlfriend, mom, Herman, and Nana for believing in me, trusting in my determination, and making sacrifices for my success. Your continuous love and support feeds me to be the best version of myself. I love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And you all can just... Come on, right on down. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Our next BSN student is Daisy Chavez, and her white coat is being placed on by her father. And her quote is, I just want to give a special shout out to my dad and Gloria for their hard work, dedication, and sacrifices. Thank you. Love you both. And shout out to Cohort 5. We got this. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. All right. Our next BSN student is Sandris Ejere Kome, and her white coat is being placed on by her aunt and and a family member. Okay. And as they place on the coat, um, right now, I will read the quote that she states. Thank you to my aunt for taking on the big responsibility of raising me and to my uncle um, for sticking it through. I appreciate your love, kindness, and support. May God bless you and keep you. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Our next BSN student is Michelle Johnson, and her white coat is being placed on by her godmother. Oh. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Our next BSN student is Vanessa Lira, and her white coat is being placed on by her boyfriend, Raymond. A 
And specifically her quote, I want to thank my family, my mom, daughters, and boyfriend for supporting me through this journey. Future nurse, here I come. Thank you. Congratulations. Our next BSN student is Jennifer Macias, and her white coat is being placed on by her mother and brother. And brother. Congratulations. <laughs> and her quote specifically is, without my family and friends, I wouldn't be here today. Thank you for the continuous support and encouragement. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next BSN student is Brianna Maravilla, and her white coat is being placed on by her father. And her quote specifically is, thanks to my family, relatives, my two dogs, and my turtle. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. Our next BSN student is Ariana Ross, and her white coat is being placed on by her two best friends. Congratulations. And her quote specifically is, thank you to my family and my friends for always supporting me. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next BSN student is Rosemary Rarege, and her white coat is being placed on by her husband. And specifically, her quote is to my husband, Martin. Thank you for being a blessing in my life. I want to take this opportunity to tell you that I appreciate your support and encouragement as I continue with my journey. May you never lack. God bless you, and I love you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Breathe. <laughs> Our next BSN student is Jasmine Williams, and her white coat is being placed on by her mother and boyfriend. And her quote specifically is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. And then specifically, I want to thank my mom and family for always supporting me and keeping me center. Also, my boyfriend, I love you so much. I love you guys. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. And can we give a just warm round of applause to all of our Bachelor of Science in Nursing students? It always just provides just so much. I love this time. It's just seeing all of our students, like we said, take that plunge to join the healthcare workforce and become nurses in the field. So again, congratulations to our BSN students for going down that road and just being part of the nursing workforce. At this time, I now want to acknowledge our Master of Science in Nursing entry-level master's students, specifically cohort 28. It is now your time to be acknowledged. So if you can kindly line up, and again, if our family, friends, and support system will just come and line up beside as well as our faculty member.
All right, and can we give another round of applause while they line up? Aren't our students, and just to preface, just to know about this program, this is a program where it's considered a pre-licensure program, but for students in this program, they already have a baccalaureate degree, but now it was in another field other than nursing, but they wanna join the nursing workforce. So what we allow is that you're able to get a master of science in nursing and also become a registered nurse. Isn't it amazing that our institution can provide a program like that in our community? Yes, so we will now move to our first ELM student. Thank you, woo, okay. All right, our first ELM student is Samtuchuku Toby Akametu. And their white coat is being placed on by their mother and father. Thank you, all right. And their quote is, thankful for my family and everything they have done. Stay dangerous, which I'm assuming means stay always cautious in the field. <laughs> Okay. How beautiful parents. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. It seems we have a nurse practitioner alum. I told you the, the lifestyle still keeps going. Congratulations, there. And now it's a. Okay, THE Clinic. Here we go. So the connections. Congratulations. And now she has sent Toby to come on down the lane, too. See? All right. Okay, mom, okay. Our next ELM student is Vanessa Alvarado, and her white coat is being placed on by her mom. And her quote is, thankful to my family and friends for all of your support and love. I wouldn't be here without you. Congratulations. Okay. Our next MSN ELM student is Stephanie Ardon. And her white coat is being placed on by her mother and father. Congratulations. And their quote specifically is, thank you to my family for all of the love and support. Thank you, congrats, Stephanie. Our next, stu our next ELM student is Nancy Cifuentes Gomez. <laughs> See the cheer in the cohort? And their white coat is being placed on by their sister and dad. And specifically, their quote is saying, this journey is for my family, my friends, my community, and myself. Congratulations. Our next ELM student is our very own Neoma Durahesi, and her white coat is being placed on by her mother, her brother, and her daughter. Congratulations. <laughs> and Neoma has had, just in terms of her trajectory for being also an MPH alum, also her dance program here, and specifically her quote is, all the thanks to God and my family. Congratulations, Neoma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Bill. All right. And our next ELM student 
is Willie Irvin. And their white coat is being placed on by our very own Professor James Royster. And specifically, their quote is, thank you to my friends, my family, and everyone who has supported me on this journey. Congratulations, Willie. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Our next ELM student is Ramon Hippolito. And their white coat is being placed on by their mother and girlfriend. <laughs> and specifically their quote is friends, family, teachers, and cohort. Thank you all for this opportunity. Congratulations from us. Our next ELM student is Lauren Kim. And that's why I said the cohort love. <laughs> and their white coat is being placed on by their mother. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Our next, our next ELM student is Kyle Nguyen. And their white coat is being placed on by their partner. Oh. Okay, you can put it on the coat, along with the stethoscope. They're letting you know, it's serious. Oh, yes. <laughs> Um, their quote is, I am proud to officially start this journey to devote the rest of my life to healing the unfortunate. Shout out to my mom, my dad, and my girlfriend, Lily. I love you all. Congratulations, Kyle. Huh? Yeah, well, okay, we can do a quick hug. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle, for everything. Thank you. Our next ELM student is Christine Owajori. And their white coat is being placed on by their mother. Oh. Isn't it fabulous? They both have the same grace and style. Congratulations, Christine. Our next ELM student is Shayla Richardson. And their white coat is being placed by their partner. Congratulations. And their quote specifically is, shout out to my family, friends, and my boyfriend. This one is for you. Congratulations, Shayla. Our next ELM student is Devin Roche Willis. And their white coat is being placed on by their mother. And specifically, thank you to my family and everyone who has supported me. Congratulations, Devin. Our next ELM student is Sky Smith. <laughs> and their white coat is being placed by their mother. And specifically, I would like to thank my mom and grandparents. I love you guys. This is for my little brothers. Aw. Congratulations, Sky. Our 
our next our next ELM student is Jennifer Tam. <laughs> See a cheering section, and our white coat is being placed on by her partner, her mom, and dad. All right, and her quote is, this one's for my family and my man. I, <laughs> I wouldn't be here without them. I love you. Congratulations, Jennifer. Okay. Congratulations. Our next ELM student is Markiana Tucker. And their white coat is being placed on by their mother. And specifically, thank you to my family and friends for believing in me. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Congratulations, Markiana. Oh, you're, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Our next ELM student is Angelos Williams. And their white coat is being placed on by our very own Miss Angelique Dodd. How beautiful is the camaraderie? And her quote is specifically, the best is yet to come. Congratulations. And the, I know they both have the first name. So you're a close first name, right? Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Can we give a round of applause to our ELM students for it? And again, I just want to, on behalf of just myself, our program leadership, and all of the administration here, we just want to just say just a special congratulations. We're here for you every step of the way, and we're looking forward to you making to the finish line and making our healthcare system just a better place with you in it. Thank you so much. All right, let's go a little bit higher. Y'all still awake? Okay, all right. So now we will go on to our Family Nurse Practitioner Cohort 38. Yes, yes, yes. And I do want to welcome to the stage none other than the Director of the Family Nurse Practitioner Program, Dr. Emmeline Lau. Good morning, everyone. Today marks an incredible special moment on your journey to clinical practice. This is an empowering day to you all. Place an emphasis on dedicating yourself in providing the highest quality of service, rendering genuine, compassionate, and collaborative excellent care. White Coat stands for purity and professionalism. It is an immense responsibility and a privilege to be able to take care of patients. Wearing the white coat entails responsibility where patients can come to you to seek refuge from their sickness and alleviate their sufferings. Therefore, FNP Core 38, ELM, BSN, and PMHNP, rise and be ready to take this challenge to a vow of dedication and service. Congratulations to you all and more power. I'd like to call on the first FNP candidate on the stage. We have Ida Bagdasarian and her white coat will be done on her by her classmate, Oksana Samenchuk. <laughs> Round of applause, please. I want to thank my family and friends for continued support throughout this journey. Ida Bagdasarian. Thank you. Thank you. 
thank you. Thank you. Oksana will go last. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. Our next FNP candidate is Gillian May Balahadia. Her white coat will be done on her by her husband, mother, Gavin Balahadia, and Rosalie Saxon Doncilio Auntie. Always a heart of a nurse but now with the brain of a doctor. Congratulations, congratulations. 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 Yes. Our next FNP student is Marichu Kizon Cortez. Her white coat will be done on her by Samara Moran and Michael, her son. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. Your self worth is determined by you and God, Marichu Cortez. Our next FNP candidate is Azure Looney, and her white coat will be donned by her husband, Brian Looney. Don't be sad, it's over. Be glad it happened. Dr. Seuss. Our next FNP student is Georgia Magaling. Her white coat will be placed on her by her sister, Glessie Magaling, boyfriend, Billy Cervantes. Congratulations. <laughs> the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take that away from you. Congratulations. Our next FNP candidate is Marie Minashan. Her white coat will be done on her by her cousin, Violet Minasian. And her auntie as well. Education is the most powerful weapon in the world. So grab it by the hours and change the world. Congratulations. Our next FNP candidate is Bareen Rafiq. Her white coat will be placed on by her mother, Hulalai Martin. Imagination is everything. It is a preview to life's coming attractions by Albert Einstein. Thank you to my grandma, mother and boyfriend for your support. Our next FNP candidate is Regine Reyes. Her white coat will be placed on by her mother, Jeanette.
Our next FNP candidate is Oksana Semenchuk, and her white coat will be placed on her by her best friend, Ida Bagdasurian. I want to thank my family and friends for always supporting me. Our next FNP candidate is Angelia Tejeda. Her white coat will be placed on her by her sister and mother. No act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted. To my friends and family, thank you for being my rock. I love you all. All right, can we give a round of applause, please, for Cohort 38 FNP? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go a little bit higher. Nudge your neighbor, say you still you still awake? All right, make sure, make sure y'all over here uh, on TikTok right now. All right, um, so now with that being said, we're going to go to the Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner Program, Cohort 17. And presenting will be none other than our own Dr. Kenya Smith for the Psych Mental Health MP Program. Dr. Smith. Good morning. So on behalf of our program leader, who I know she wish she was here today, she's probably watching online, uh, Professor Tris williams Day. I would like to welcome the cohorts 17 and 18 of our dynamic, high-performing psychiatric nurse practitioner program. These students, uh, we really appreciate them because they have taken the charge in caring for the community's most vulnerable population, those who are struggling with mental health issues. So we really appreciate and celebrate them. And they're eager to put on their white coats today. <laughs> Our first student from um, the cohort 17 is Jadia Davis Ramsey. Jadia, okay, Jadia. <laughs> and she is accompanied by her, her sister, Lucky, mother, mentor, and supervisor, her whole village. Jadia's quote is, thanks for all the support and encouragement from all my family and friends. Love y'all. See you next semester. <laughs> Our next student is Tanya Fleeks. She is accompanied by her mom who's putting on her white coat. <laughs> Tanya's quote is, never give, all, give up on a dream you can't go a day without thinking about. You have nothing to lose and everything to win. Thank you, mom, family, and friends. Spe special thank you to my bestie, Mia, and the journey continues. <laughs> Next on deck, we have... <laughs> Mia! Mia! Hi, Mia Prince Price. She is accompanied by her son and daughter. Aww. And her quote is, to all the nursing cohorts, obstacles, obstacles are those frightful things you can see when, you're, when you take your eyes off your goal by Ford. Harrison Ford? <laughs> Henry Ford. <laughs> Always push your... Push forward in pursuing your dreams and passions. Mine is healthcare. 
thank you to my family and friends for the support on this journey. Mashita Mouse Davis, and her white coat is donned by her mom. <laughs> her quote is, don't whisper in the wind, become the wind, ever present, touching lives with the power of hope and healing. Thank you to my beautiful and amazing and caring mom. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Also, thanks to my husband, KD, and best friend, my dad and family. Next up, we have Festus Nadi, and his white coat is being donned by his wife. <laughs> his quote is, a dream come true, a new beginning. I'm proud to wear the white coat. Thanks to my wife and the kids, I love you guys. We have Jen, Jenny. Jenny saying, and her white coat is being donned by her partner and brother. <laughs> and her quote is, let's change the world, one white coat at a time. <laughs> also, thank you to my supportive family. I love y'all. Next up, we have Ashley Iberkuchu Nibersby, and her white coat is being donned by her mother. Her quote is, what feels like the end is often the beginning. To my mom, thank you. To my mom, God, and my brothers, too. Last but not least, we have Nakruka Miriam Uwakwi, <laughs> and her white coat is being donned by her sister Joy. <laughs> and her quote is, my strength is from God and family. Thankful for my family for pushing me. White coat is placed on by her sister for uh, for and she thanks her for her support and patience. <laughs> and let's give our psych nurse practitioner students another round of applause. All right, now let's do a rousing applause for all of our cohorts, BSN, ELM, FMP, 
Psych MP. Yes, 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 yes. And I also want to acknowledge our virtual audience. We have some people tuning in by way of YouTube Live. So hello, you all. Thank you for joining us for this ceremony. And at this time, I would like to invite the Assistant Director of Simulation, Professor Ottila Diller, to lead us in our pledge. Professor Diller. Thank you so much, Ms. Dodd. Students, may you please stand, raise your right hand, and solemnly affirm with me. You all have copies of the pledge, so we'll read along together, okay? Are you ready? <laughs> all right. As a nurse dedicated, a nurse dedicated to, providing the highest quality care and services, to providing the highest quality care and services, I solemnly pledge that I will Consider the, Consider the welfare of humanity and the re relief of suffering my primary concerns. Act in a compassionate and trustworthy manner. Compassionate and, trustworthy manner. In, all of my care. in all aspects of my care. Apply my knowledge, experience, and skills. To the, best of my ability, to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. Optimal outcomes for my patients. Exercise, sound sound Exercise sound professional judgment while abiding by legal and ethical requirements. Accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. Promote, advocate for, and strive to protect the health, safety, and rights of the patient. With this pledge, With this pledge I accept the duties and responsibilities, the and responsibilities that, embody the that embody the nursing profession. I take this oath voluntarily with the full realization, the full realization of, the of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. Beautiful. Congratulations. Be seated. Be seated. <laughs> Um, thank you, Professor Dillard, for that um, pledge. Um, at this time, before we dismiss, I do want to acknowledge a couple of people. And students, you all can help me with this acknowledgement. Um, can we give an applause to all the faculty and staff, <laughs> to all our program leaders, to all of our wonderful leaders of the university? And if you all can please stand and turn around for me, students, and let's give an applause to the village that stands behind you, your family, your friends, your loved ones, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your significant others. I think someone said two dogs and a turtle. <laughs> your support system. All right, you all can be seated. Um, and before we leave, I do want to just give a couple words of encouragement. Um, I don't have the honor to be a nurse, but I love education. Um, and in everything with students, I like to give some type of advice. Um, so for my nursing students, take it one semester at a time, all right? Um, give your best in everything that you do. And lastly, be the change that you seek or you want to change in the world, all right? Y'all got that? Y'all got them three nuggets? Those three nuggets, that's great. Okay, so before we leave here, I do wanna let you all know, family, friends, um, our courtyard is available for pictures. You will see that we have a lot of green grass. So you can find a picture place anywhere, um, basically anywhere. So feel free to take pictures after this. Hug on your family and your friends, you all. And after this, we will have a reception in our courtyard that is located in the same place that you checked in. 
Okay, so when we leave here, if you're not taking pictures, you can feel free to start heading that way shortly for our reception. Did y'all have a good time? I'm glad. All right, with that being said, this concludes our white coat ceremony for spring 2024. It's been an honor to be your mistress of ceremony. And, oh, you're welcome. Um, and you all take care. All right, bye.